All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. No, before we get started, let's give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. And as only we got Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and taught us the truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. For the Kazafa, Shabbat you know, come back for another quick lesson to the Spirit Power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And this is a warning. Unto you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? You know, uh, to not take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast according to the scriptures, okay? You know, as we're seeing now in the world, people are taking, um, having chipping parties, you know, voluntarily getting chipped, okay? But even soon to come, everything's about to become mandatory. Just like how these vaccines are becoming mandatory, they're going to make it mandatory to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, okay? You know? All right, and we're going to get into the scriptures today of, you know, what it what it is, the mark of the beast, and uh, what happens if the consequences if you do take it, man. Okay. All right, so with that, you get that, brother? That's real quick. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he, and he had power to give life unto the beast mm -hmm. should both speak. So, like, let me start over again. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 15. Now, you just started 16. But... All right. Well, 13 and 16. And he caused of all, both small and great, mm -hmm. rich and poor. All right, he says the cause of all, man. Okay. All right. When you look into that word cause of, it means to what? To make mandatory by law, to constitute. Okay. When you look it up in the Greek. Okay. All right. It means to constitute, to make by law. So he's going to cause all by law. It says, what you want to read it, bro? It says what? <clears throat> it says, both small and great. Mm-hmm. Rich and poor. It says small and great, okay? Up in age or low in age, okay? Small and great. It said rich and poor. Whether you what? You're, uh, uh, you know, high in status here and with riches. Or if you're a bum on the street, all right, keep on reading. Free and bond. It says free and bond. What meaning what? Whether you're out here in your liberty doing whatever you want or you are locked up in prison, okay? So this uh, covers all aspects of society. Okay, all right, he's gonna call all aspects of society through law, what? To receive a mark mm -hmm. in their right hand or in their forehead. All right, to receive a mark in their right hand or on their forehead. Now, when you look at that word mark in the Greek, okay, all right, uh, and, uh, which, um, you know, the New Testament is written in, okay, uh, the, the Greek map, all right, is what? Karagma, okay, all right, karagma, which means what? Implant or incision under the skin, okay? You know, and that's what is that? That can only match one thing, which is the RFID chip. They take what the uh, um, the needle and implant that actual microchip under the skin, man. All right, which is you giving yourself an, as a lead unto uh, the, um, the Edomites, the so-called white man. Okay, all right, and you're basically leading yourself with the spirit of the demon Satan, man. All right, saying that. You know, that is your God and Yahweh by Shema Shah is not your God. And we're only talking to the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because this is the ones who it pertain to, okay? You know? All right, verse verse 17. And then no man might buy mm -hmm. or sell. No, my, no man might buy or sell, okay? I Meaning what? You will not make any financial transaction, okay? All right? If you don't take this RFID chip, man, which that's the... um. You can see it, man, all right? People making financial transactions now with the RFID chip, man, okay? You know, so when they make it mandatory and they do away with the dollar, which they will, all right, when this con economy collapse, all right, and they go into what? A digital currency, which we're already seeing bits and pieces of with Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and stuff, all right? You, will make, you won't be able to make any financial uh, transactions without the RFID chip, okay? You know? All right, can we read it? Save he that had... <clears throat> Slacky. Say he that had the mark, uh -huh. or the name of the beast, uh -huh. or the number of his name. That's right, man. So you won't make any financial transactions without this RFID chip, man. Okay, that's just, this is the world that we're coming into, man. Okay, and right? that's why he said he's gonna cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, man. Okay, you know, to what? To take this RFID chip. But Yahweh by Shema Shai, the God of the Bible, told us not to take this chip. Okay, you know. You know, and there's a consequence for taking the mark of the beast, man. Okay, you know, and the, and the time that you can't eat, so to speak, can't buy food. You know, this is where our faith kicks in, and the Yahweh Shai. All right, it's really gonna be the true hour of temptation. 
All right, you being tested by the Lord to see if you're really an obedient servant or not, man. Okay, okay, because you're really not gonna be able to do anything. You're gonna be ostracized from society, man. Okay, look like an outcast. Okay, you know, even some, even arrested. You know, if you don't take this all by teacher, man. Okay, you know, but what you gotta keep that faith, man. You know, as brothers always say, you gotta trust in your heart by seeing outside and lean not upon thy own understanding. That's Proverbs three and five, man. Okay. You know, all right. But, um, if you get the uh, consequences, because we're, you know, we're gonna keep this short. You know, we're gonna get the consequences if you don't trust in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai and you lean upon your own understanding and take this RFID chip. So it is fourteen nine. <clears throat> this is uh, what's the name? This is Revelation chapter fourteen verse nine. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast mm -hmm. and his image." Mm -hmm. And receive his mark in his forehead or right. his hand. Going along with the society, worshiping the image of the beast, which is this, this power structure, man. You know, the way society is ran right now. All right, you're going along with the flow of it. What's going along with the flow of it we will be taking an RFID chip when it's mandatory because everybody's going to take it. Okay, you know, except the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, you know, the 144,000 prophets and the one third million children who believe. Okay? They're not going to take the RFID chip because this is going to be happening all over the world. So we're talking to you Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, not to take this RFID chip, man. Okay, all right, which is the market of beast, or it might be in other countries, the NFC chip, whatever. And don't take no microchip up in you, man. Okay, because we're about to read the consequences for you worshiping the beast and taking the mark, all right, of the beast, man. All right, can you read it? Verse 10 <clears throat> The same shall, the same shall drink of the wine. Of the wrath of the Most High, mm -hmm. which is poured out without mixture mm -hmm. into a cup of His indignation. That's right, man. Those are the ICBM thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, you know, even before that, man, if you take this off by detail, there's no guarantee that you can get food. So the Lord might have you starve out and then hit, get a missile to eat, man. Okay, all right. Well, these missiles are literally going to what melt the uh, the uh, the flesh, the sinews, whatever, off your body. Okay. You know, it's gonna melt you into uh into ashes, so to speak, man. Okay, you know, you see ice cream how it is. If you put it under a hot flame, that's gonna be your skin from th uh, ICBM thermonuclear missiles. What for not obeying your how about Shimon Al Shai, the God of the Bible, man? All right. So to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're telling you what: listen, hearken, you know, unto your how about Shimon Al Shai, his words through his prophets. And guess what? Get right with the God of the Bible and put your faith in your how about Shimon Al Shai, man. Don't lean upon your own understanding. Okay. Because your, your own understanding is going to get you destroyed, man. Okay? You know? And he shall be tormented with fire mm -hmm. and brimstone. It says fire and brimstone. Okay? When you look at fire and brimstone, the brimstone goes to the word sulfur. Okay? Which sulfur is a high burning uh, 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 element, man. Okay? You know? You know, the Lord compared uh, uh, these nuclear missiles to what? Uh, fire and brimstone, man. Okay? You know? That's how hot it's going to be. And, uh, a brimstone or sulfur burns out of blue. The fire is blue, which is the hottest form of fire. One, one of the highest forms of fire. Okay? You know? So showing you that, look, the Lord's not playing, bro. You're about to be uh, 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 very burnt up and crisp, all right? If you don't uh, hearken unto your owl by Shemal Shai and don't take the R5 Egypt, man, this is not a game. You know, it's a warning, strict warning to the nation of Israel, man. You know, do not take the RFID chip under any circumstance or you will feel uh, the great fire of the nuclear missiles, man. All right. And who knows how long the Lord can have your spirit burning up in that, man. You know, keep on reading because the Lord says it's going to be a torment. Read it, bro. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone mm -hmm. in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Look, man, you will be burnt up in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the lamb. All right, even the elect is gonna be looking down, seeing people getting burned while they're being beaten up in the ships, man. Okay, them, uh, you know the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of Yahweh by Shimon All right, so this is a strict warning, and this goes for us too, man. We're not exempt from this. You know, you're not supposed to take no chip what's inside of you, man. Okay, you know, don't you know? Same thing with the vaccine that's about to come. Don't take that, man. Okay, all right, because that's just a prelude to condition you to get used to something being pricked in you, man. Okay, you know. So, yeah, we're preaching what? The fear of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Because if you don't fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you will be destroyed in this manner, man. Okay? You know? And it's a horrible thing. It's sort of says a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right? So, we're preaching the fear of the Lord to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. If you don't want to burn alive, okay? 
you will not take this off by detail. Okay, no plain and simple, man. All right. And if you do wanna, uh, if you don't wanna have faith in Yahweh, Shem Yahshai, and take this man death and destruction unto you, woe be uh, unto you, man. All right, because you don't have patience in the Lord, man. Okay. All right, you wanna uh, uh, rule with this devil, which this devil is only ruling but for a short time, man. Okay. You know, and then he's gonna take him down, man. Okay. You know, if you could get Isaiah uh, um, 13, and I believe it's verse, uh, I believe it's verse. Uh, either 15, you know, you're 14, 15, around there, you know, uh, it might be, it should say, uh, if you joined unto them, it should be best to explore. Mm-hmm. Um, this is, uh, Isaiah 13 and, uh, 15. Mm -hmm. Everyone that shall be found, <clears throat> everyone that is found shall be thrusted through. Mm-hmm. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Time, right, man. You want to be joined unto the society? You want to be take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast according to the scriptures, or the NFC chip? You know, you want to take a microchip within you, man. That's you joining yourself unto, unto the society, okay? And so everybody that's joined unto them shall what? fall by the sword, man. You could be thrusted through. And the ultimate sword was a sword as any killing instrument. The sword of Yahweh by Shimon Shah is going to be the ICBM thermonuclear missile. So join yourself unto this, unto this society if you want to, man, okay? You know, go along with the ways of Esau, even so-called white man, if you want to. But you're going to be burnt to a crisp, all right? All right, so telling the nation of Israel, fear Yahweh by Shimon Shai, have faith in him, or you're going to be burnt up by the ice beam nuclear missiles if you take the R5D chip, man. Okay, you know? Anything else, bro? No, man. Hey, man, you know, this is a strict warning to the nation of Israel, man. Uh, straight, you know, to the point, man. Plain and simple, man. So with that, hope the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Continue to fear Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Continue to have faith, man. Believe in Yahweh by Shimon Shai and trust in his words man okay because the elect will be uh protected in these last days man just trust in the lord so with that i like to give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly father and it's going to be out the sun yeah double honors to our apostles and elders a great millstone the woo well and taught us the truth and shallow one taught us all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity until next time we say shallow one shallow one